So right now, you and Stevie are on vacation and going to go see a wedding. That's fun. I, on the other hand, am going to be staying here doing the same thing that I've been doing. My summer thus far has been a whole lot of this. Stay, stay, stay. <gasps> oh, it's my baby. Oh, it's a kitty. My baby. Look at that thing. A lot of this. Hmm, I wonder if there's any food. Mmm, nope. Mmm, nope. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this instead. A bit of this. I'll just watch it one more time. Okay, maybe just just one more. Okay, this is the fifth and final time, I swear. And this. <laughs> so along with all of the nothing that I've been doing, I've also taken classes. I took an education class, which was super fun. And I just got done with this glorious class. Um, it's geology. Glad that's over with. I'm about to take a literature class. Oh, I was going to be take. Ooh, I should get my cipher for this to be straight. I went ahead, I bought the book for it and everything. And two weeks before the class was supposed to come out, they decide to email every, or everyone. It's probably not that many people. They decide to email me that they're canceling class due to low enrollment. If you have told me that earlier, I wouldn't have had to spend $100 on a book that I now do not need. Well, this summer I've been doing a bit of reading as well as for the class and whatnot, but I'm really bad about starting books and then not finishing them. Um, I am Right now I am reading this, which is a memoir about someone who grew up in, I think, the late 60s, early 70s with depression and having to deal with uh, getting medication and such. So it's pretty interesting. It's Prozac Nations by Elizabeth Wurzel. Um, I also started to read Les Mis, which I have a paper copy of somewhere, but I ended up just using 99 cents to get it on my Kindle. I also started to read Catch-22. I am roughly nowhere in it because I'm an awful person and start books and stop them. Um, I will finish it at some point though, I promise you that. Um, let's see what else have I read. I've reread part of Looking for Alaska because John Green, hey. Um, and then I also, I'm actually going to have to take this, this book. Lover's Dictionary. I technically, I think, might have read it at the end of last semester, but it's really good. David loves that in Lover's Dictionary. It's adorable. It goes through the alphabet and says little words, and he has little, like, shorts, and all of them kind of link together. Like, there are some that are the same couple and stuff, and it's kind of cute. I guess it might be a little girly, but I like it, regardless. Um, fan fiction. Lots of fan fiction. I don't have all of it pulled up, or I might give recommendations, might, I mean, you don't read fan fiction though, so I guess it doesn't really matter, you don't watch Glee, so, um, or really look at Harry Potter fan fiction, I guess. I've been trying to find some good, um, Sherlock and Doctor Who fan fiction, not so much Supernatural because I'm not totally done with that, don't want spoilers, although I get them a lot on Tumblr anyways because people don't tag things. So that's fun. <clears throat> Writing. That is something that I have not been doing this summer so far because I took a class. I really liked it and it really gave me a whole lot. But I've also gone into the point past writer's block and into like this like existential crisis mode. And I can't make myself write anything because I feel like it's going to be terrible. And even though I know you have to be terrible before you can be good. I still have an issue with the whole being terrible thing, so that's super fun. 
I've written a little bit of short stuff and done a little bit of editing more, not nearly as much as I need to, but one exciting thing that I did do this summer was that I got to go to the Darren Chris concert, which I'm sure you saw on Facebook. I'm not going to say much about it just because it'll take forever and it will go over whatever oh, six minute max mark that we sort of set. So I so I might talk about that in a future video. I guess this is the end of the video.